Here are some Gmail tricks you need to know. Did you know you can send secret disappearing emails with your Gmail account? And to do it, the next time you compose your email, just go to the bottom and select this lock icon to go into confidential mode. Then you can select when you want your email to expire. Just click on this box. You can pick one day, one week, a couple months, or years. And anyone you send this email to will not be able to forward it, copy it, print it, or download it. You can also require an SMS passcode so whoever you send this to will get a password delivered to their phone and they have to enter it in. I'm gonna leave it off though and click save. And then it'll show you when the email expires. Let's go ahead and send it. And now if we go into our sent folder and click on the email we just sent, it'll show you again when it expires, but if you wanna remove that access early, all you have to do is click this button. If I try to read it on my end, it'll say it's expired. Have you ever sent an email before and then immediately regretted sending it? So a lot of people may know by now that Gmail has this built-in undo feature that you can use after you send an email. And if you don't know about it, this is the little box that pops up in the bottom left. You'll notice the undo button right here. If we click on that, you can see that our message comes back up and it doesn't send to the recipient. But you may also notice that this undo button only lasts for a few seconds. So if we click the settings gear in the top right and then click see all settings, and under the general tab, you'll see undo send. This is where you can pick how long you want the undo button to last for. Right now it's only five seconds, but let's make it 30. So now the next time we send an email, this undo button will last much longer, allowing us to go back and find any spelling mistakes. Now here are a few quick tips you need to know. If you ever have an email written out, but it's not the right time to send it, this one I'm gonna tell my boss that it's 4 a.m. and I'm sick. All you have to do is go down to the send button and click on this drop down and hit schedule send. Then you'll be able to pick what date and time you want to send it at. I'm going to do tomorrow at 4 a.m. and let's schedule it. Easy. Have you ever tried to copy something from a website or paper and then go paste it in your Gmail email only to find out that it has all this weird formatting? Here's what you can do instead. Instead of pressing control and V to paste it, all you have to do is this, press Control, Shift, and V, and it'll paste it without any formatting. Easy. And for my last tip, I'm gonna show you how to free up space in your Google Drive using your Gmail. If you click on this filter button in the top right of your email, you'll be able to find the largest emails in your inbox. I'm gonna choose Has Attachment, and then for size, I'm gonna do greater than 10 megabytes, and hit search. And these are all large attachment emails that are taking up space in my inbox. If I click this drop down arrow for any time, I can even pick old email by doing a custom range or selecting older than a year. And now I can start deleting all these old emails. These are from 2019.